Here are five lessons that I learned after watching thousands of hours of ICT content. So firstly, I wanna start off by saying that there are no secrets when it comes to ICT concepts. What a lot of people like to do is they like to go down rabbit holes and look into all these crazy methodologies in the hopes of finding some secret algorithm or enigma, so to speak. But what you have to remember is ICT or Michael has already given you his life's work on a silver platter for free. All these little nuggets that you're seeking, all these little bits of value and information, these gold nuggets are scattered across hundreds of videos on his channel. He has about 600 videos in 2024. So there's no secret PDRA or hidden entry technique that is going to make you more profitable than what is already out there. Everything you need to achieve profitability has already been laid at your feet. You just have to look down and pick it up, okay? There's no substitute for hard work in learning and implementing and backtesting. It's already at your feet, it's already there. So you have to take it and run with it. Lesson number two, technical methods will not save you from poor risk management. It does not matter how much of an edge a strategy gives you, if you cannot consistently and flawlessly execute that edge in the market, it does not matter, you're still going to lose. What you have to remember is that ICT, supply and demand, support and resistance, all these things, all these types of strategies and different types of uh, approaches to the market, they are all going to fail without proper risk management. See, the problem with most beginners is they think that the more they learn, the more they implement, the more they grasp onto and implement into their approach, that the less they're going to lose, and that cannot be farther from the truth, okay? Losing is a part of the game. Losing happens to everybody. Everyone has losing trades. It's just a part of the business. And so if you are out there seeking the holy grail of trading and you're looking for that holy grail strategy, what you have to remember is that just because someone's using ICT or supply and demand or support and resistance, it doesn't matter, right? Everyone has losers. And so everyone likes to go in and think that they can neglect risk management, but that's really what holds everything together. It doesn't matter. You can flip a coin and have proper risk management and still make money in the long term. And so lesson number three that I want to share with you is that the majority of ICD concepts that are out there that you can implement will not resonate with you individually as a trader. What this means is then you must be selective in what you incorporate into your own strategy and focus on what resonates with you as a trader. There is no best strategy or 100% win rate, holy grail strategy, right? There's just an approach. There's just an edge that you can find in the market, something that repeats. And if you can execute on that flawlessly, right? You're still gonna take losses, it might not work out, but it plays out more than not, then that's your edge in the market. It could be supply and demand. It could be ICT concepts. That's what I personally trade is ICT. But what you have to remember is there is no 100% win rate strategy. There is no best strategy. So what does that mean then? You have to focus on and identify the concepts that resonate with you individually as a person, as a trader, the best. What does your eye see the best? What do you see in the charts the easiest, right? And then you want to focus on that and refine it. I don't care about what Joe Schmo is doing over here to the left. I don't care what anyone over here to my right is doing. I'm focused on what resonates with me. Don't focus on the shiny new object that's on Twitter that everyone's crazing about, right? What's trending on Twitter? What someone's using one day that made money and maybe I didn't make money that day. There's no reason to focus on those things because he might be using something or she might be using something completely different than what resonates with you. And just because they're making money that day doesn't mean that your strategy isn't effective. I just want you to remember that you have to focus and identify and then refine on what resonates with you individually as a trader. The fourth lesson that I learned after studying thousands of hours of ICT concepts is that most beginner traders are focusing on the wrong things. They fail to develop a bias and a narrative first before focusing and looking for setups. And without proper narrative or context behind a trade idea or a trade setup, then you're just merely trading ICT entry models or entry patterns like you would retail patterns or retail logic. If you're just trading entry patterns for pattern's sake because they appeared on the chart and they're right there in front of you without developing a proper context or narrative behind the setup, then you're no different 
than trading like a retail trader. You're still just gambling. A lot of new traders or a lot of new ICT newbies, they carry over this idea of because they see a pattern form in the market that they need to get into it, right? Without actually identifying and doing their own analysis on why price should move the way it should and why the setup should play out first before entering. They just blindly hop in and they carry this habit or this idea over from their retail days, right? Or the, the retail bull flags they used to trade or the breakouts they used to trade, right? Because it occurs and they see it on the chart, they have to get in. But it's the opposite for ICT. You need to identify and develop a narrative and a bias first before you enter that trade, right? Why should that trade or that setup play out? Lastly, the fifth thing that I learned after watching thousands of hours of ICT content was that core content on his YouTube channel is his best work. Mastering the basics of ICT is how you become an expert. Most people, they're focused on the flashy entry techniques and they still fail. Why do you think that is? What does that actually tell you? What it tells me is it's the boring stuff like risk management, psychology, and market profile, and knowing when to stay out. It's the boring things like that that separates the amateurs from the pros. You have to build a solid, strong foundation first before you can move on and graduate to those more advanced things. And so what most people do is the opposite. They wanna get in to the flashy entry techniques. They wanna be able to get into a trade, right? But they don't focus on when to actually stay out or how to actually manage their emotions once they're in one. And that comes back and bites them in the end. When I say core content is his best work, I'm specifically referring to the ones month one through four. Months one through four focus on the bare bone basics and why do I like that so much? Well, because it's simple. The simpler your approach, the easier it is to execute consistently. Last thing I'll say is if you want to separate and elevate your trading, focus on keeping your approach simple. Focus on the core content basics and develop a strong foundation. That way you can then graduate onto the more flashy entry techniques and the um, standard deviations and things like that, right? But without a core and fundamental understanding of the basics of ICT, those things, you're just gonna get lost in them, right? Because you're not gonna implement them properly, you're gonna get lost, and you're gonna get confused, and you're gonna end up trying to implement way too many things into your model, into your approach, and it's gonna come back and bite you in the end. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.